Uh, well, let's take you now to Siberia. Russia's Arctic north and far east are being ravaged by huge wildfires with up to 4 million hectares ablaze and vast areas engulfed by smoke. Fires are common at this time of year, but record-breaking summer temperatures and strong winds have made this year's particularly bad. Our Moscow correspondent Steve Rosenberg has travelled to the remote Irkutsk region of Siberia and sent this report. For weeks now, Siberia has been smouldering. Vast swathes of forest shrouded in smoke and many ravaged by fire. Wildfires are common here, but not on this scale. In Siberia, an area the size of Belgium is burning. The Kremlin has sent in the army, military planes doing what they can to extinguish the blaze. The fires are sparked by hot weather and dry thunderstorms. They're mainly in remote areas, but could the effects be more widespread? There's concern that carbon emissions from here may be melting ice in the Arctic and speeding up global warming. So black carbon is a black small particles which falls down on the ice and turn them from white to the black. So the ice cannot reflect sun uh, radiation and uh, sun starts to heat the ice in Arctic and it melts faster. And as if fire wasn't bad enough, there have been floods too. This is Toulon. In June, a dam burst following torrential rain. 23 people died. Now the town has flooded again. From forest fires to flooding. So far, this has been a summer of hell for people in Siberia. And it's because of the wildfires and the floods that a state of emergency has been declared in large parts of this region. Victor Suhi's house is uninhabitable, but they make people tough in Siberia. Russians are ready for any challenge, Victor tells me. We'll get by. Picking up the pieces after a natural disaster. For Russia, it's becoming second nature. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Siberia.